Ladies and gentlemen, KK Mir, welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is up about 0.7% there. On the S&P Nasdaq, did the same. Semiconductor up, Dow up, Russell 2,001%. Transport made a 4% move, banks up 1.3%. Energy is up 3.5%. So you can see transport and the energy were the stars of today's action. Biotech made a pretty good move there, 2% positive. Healthcare, slightly green. Healthcare, home builders is pretty much flat though. Utilities is the only sector with the red prints today. But let's be fair though, when the S&P 500s are coming down pretty heavily, remember we talked about how utilities are green? They're retail's up about 1.2%. Uh, emerging market 0.6 bitcoin is up four percent there gold silver miners are slightly up however gdx which is the miners is up one percent their dollar down oil slightly up treasury bond down vix is down about 11 percent let's stick with the s p 500 etf spider 65 minutes are here so this is where we closed yesterday and it looks like we opened up slightly gapped up there right so you can see that price right you can see that jump here so this is where we close and then we gapped up right that's why there's that red candle there because this is where we opened up and a little bit of move came right back down but at one point though in that first you see that lower wick here and at one point this thing looked pretty heavily bearish just right on that first hour this is what it looked like probably some of these micro term traders are freaking out trying to chase that gap up but then that momentum is still up remember bulls were able to reclaim and tame that short term moving out that's that moving average right here that act as resistance in the past and now that momentum in the short to micro term favors the buyers which we talked about yesterday and you can see we got that lower wick and since then we got the second and third and fourth and fifth very much grinding all day long but all of a sudden on that last hour bulls brought it back up there so it looks like you know now we can kind of see that this was some sort of a bull pennant pattern we did see that last hour breakout and it looks like that's how it played out so um you can see something that we talked a lot about last week and over the weekend and yesterday is that the momentum is very very important because bulls they have to go against the current right we talked about how we're in the short to midterm downtrend the current's coming down the wind is blowing down so they have to kind of go against that and go against the current and in that climate in that environment that footing that momentum is extremely important so you can see after that higher low cultivation uh, bulls don't want to come down so they keep pushing even today they continue to push on with close to about one percent gain there on the s p 500 and this is a great work because the bulls are really really working hard to keep that momentum going because right now the short to midterm and the short to micro term buyers are in control we do want to give benefit of the doubt to the buyers in the short to micro to short term however when it comes to short to midterm and that's what i'm talking about benefit of the doubt goes to the dollars if you watch my long-term analysis video over the weekend we understand that long to primary term benefit of the doubt goes to the buyers right so you can see we got that short to micro to momentum favoring the buyers but the structurally speaking we do have this higher low lower high and we're still in the vicinity of lower potential we don't know it yet right and that's what we talked about yesterday was that as long as this gap remains open bears are not going anywhere so that first objective from the bulls what they need to do what they need to achieve is this go up and fill that down gap 
that opened up January 18th. That's it. They shouldn't be thinking about anything else. No old time highs, no shenanigans, nothing. No gap. Right now, what they're thinking about, they should be thinking of, they should be focusing on is filling that down gap. If that down gap isn't filled, trust me right now, bears are not running around, running away, getting a scare. They're, they're hiding right now, but they will come back fiercely as soon as they see any kind of weakness as long as this down gap remains open. Keep in mind that my mid-term moving average and my long-term moving average are hovering in that vicinity. So that level is going to act. We're talking 460s or so. This entire level is going to act as pretty strong resistance. And that's just the way the market has been moving last couple of days. It looks like bulls are going after that. So best case scenario for bears, if you're a bear and you really think that markets should be seeing much, much lower prices, well, if we go up here, and right now, bulls are running on empty. They are tired. They are over. It is over, but in the short to micro term, but they can keep pushing. What bears need to do is make sure the bulls don't go up and fill it. This level could act as a resistance. If we get rejected from here, if bulls get up there, and when we get to that gap area, coinciding with the mid, my midterm and my long-term moving average, and if bulls get rejected in that vicinity without filling this gap, bears going to come back ferociously with indignation. There's a chance where bulls can steal this game. There's a chance where bulls can steal this game, where like bears have no idea what just happened, right? They're just waiting, waiting, waiting for their moment to attack. But bulls can completely steal this game, not even letting the bears to come around. You know what that is? You know how bulls can do that? If bulls can get up here and hang around right here and close underneath it, a little bit riskier strategy i think the safer strategy would be going up here and filling the gap and then kind of regroup to get back up that will be like a safer strategy but you really want to like steal this shell like you really don't want bears to do anything you just really want to completely shut them up downright shut them up right what you do is you get up here and end the day just beneath it and the next day gap up and attack all time high we see that bulls have completely still stole the show from the bears if we see something like that so let's check out that oscillator and see if we can extract any more any more information and before we do that should there be any kind of shenanigan tomorrow or downturn or anything like that 442.07 is a level that bulls want to protect we got 444 right here my short-term moving average that level, level has been acting as resistance in the past so bulls can utilize it as a new support let's check out that oscillator here so the oscillator what we're seeing right now is what i call a pancake pattern right here so you can see we're starting to move sideways while the while the buyers are making them this is what i said yesterday that you know bulls are tired we did hit that overbought but what the bulls can do if they can if they can keep that momentum going if they want this to continue on because they have to go against the stream because remember we're on short to midterm downtrend so they really need to keep this oscillator sideways and keep pushing forward that's what bulls need to do if this thing starts crossing back down if bears starting to see weakness in the bulls you'll be surprised how quickly bears can turn this thing into a disaster i'm gonna come back for you we'll reassess the situation enjoy your evening and glove training tomorrow